Joining us to talk about it this midday is Sally Vale, a resident member of the DTC Acting Company. Good to see you. Hi, Sonia. Good to see you, too. Okay, so tell us, first of all, how long you've been with the company. Uh, I, this is my 30th year okay. working at the Dallas Theater Center. <laughs> yeah, so, so just a little bit of time. Yeah, <laughs> now, audiences have seen you so much in A Christmas Carol. You even played Scrooge one year. Is that right? That's correct, yes. Uh, so yeah. you've played pretty much every major role except for one. So take us through that. Sure. So my very first, my very first production of A Christmas Carol professionally was in 1992. So I played the role of Belle for many years. And with a play like Christmas Carol, as an actor, you sort of, it, because it's done, it's one of the most uh, performed plays in the American Regional Theater consistently season to season. So you start to imagine, oh, Eventually, I'll play Mrs. Cratchit. Eventually, I'll play this role or that role. So it's really been a thrill to have opportunities to play roles that I never expected I'd have the chance to play, um, specifically roles that are more traditionally played by men in productions. Mm. So as you said, the role of Scrooge this year, Marley and Old Joe. Um, so it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun getting to play the ghosts, uh, Mrs. Fezziwig. <laughs> so yeah, a whole range of roles over the course of my career so far. I mean, you have to be such a versatile actor in order to do that, uh, which is just incredible. So tell us again who you're playing this year and remind everyone about that character. Sure. So this year I'm playing uh, the ghost of Marley, traditionally known as the ghost of Jacob Marley, Scrooge's uh, business partner um, for many years before Marley passes away. And Marley is the first ghost that visits Scrooge to, uh, to try to save him and say, I'm giving you an opportunity to not have to travel down the path that I've followed um, upon my death. Um, you'll be haunted by three spirits. And that's where Scrooge begins his journey of, of um, you know, reconciliation. And this year is a pretty special anniversary for the production under its artistic director. So any special touches to the production itself you can tell us about? Sure, yeah. So one of the exciting things is that Kieran Connolly is back playing Scrooge this year. He was the very first Scrooge to originate the role in this adaptation uh, by Kevin Moriarty, our artistic director. And uh, for this production, one of our resident uh, Briley Acting uh, Company members, Alex Organ, directed. And, uh, and there's been a real um, uh, reshaping of the music. We have live musicians on stage throughout the entire production. Um, there's a simplicity and a beauty to the production this year that I think is is really touching people. I know it touches all of us who have the opportunity to perform it uh, show after show. And I want to make sure we get to this because it's so important. You partner with the North Texas Food Bank to help those who are food insecure at the holidays. Can you quickly tell us about how you involve audiences with that effort? Of course. Back in 2007, DTC made the commitment to partner with the North Texas Food Bank. Um, and so we make an appeal each performance to our audiences. Since 2007, uh, Christmas Carol audiences have donated more than $900,000 to the North Texas Food Bank's Bank, which has translated into 2.5 million meals for more than 700,000 um, food insecure North Texans. Hmm. So it's it's a wonderful initiative, and and we we. We owe it all to our gener the generosity of our, our audiences. Yeah, you stole the words right out of my mouth. I mean, this community is so incredibly generous. And thank you, Sally, for your time today. Dallas Theater Center presents A Christmas Carol at the Wiley Theater in the Dallas Arts District through Christmas Eve. And if it's not a tradition of yours, you're going to make you should want to make it one, okay? Uh, this is an incredible opportunity. For tickets and other information, you can go to Dallas theatercenter.org. I love